Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of this uh, 2020 specimen paper. Uh, we are doing web authoring of paper tree. Using the most efficient methods, add the following stars to the star sheet. All colors are in hexadecimal. Uh, that's six digit code. Now, let's so table we have H1, H2, H3 and list the star. List the star is alive. Okay, of table position, uh, size and all, we have to set in star sheet. Okay, 600 pixels wide, border, no borders visible. Uh, when it comes to borders, uh, it's even TD we have, right? Internal grid lines and, uh, and uh, uh, the borders outside, two together, right? But they are not visible, no visible borders, and cell uh, spacing zero and cell padding 10 pixels. Now let's work with the table first. Okay, and borders we will do separately uh, with, the, with the borders, having no borders, along with TD we will use. Table and TD together we'll use for borders, but rest all we will do for table. Now let's start. Here uh, is the one new style now just type in their table okay table it is oh sorry Let's just go back okay uh, now would have to go first one is the uh, which one it is position okay center aligned within the browser window center aligned within the browser window for that you have to go to box and margins here it's uncheck and uh, right auto left auto so then it will set uh, be set in the middle Okay, now after that, what's the next one? Uh, size is 600 pixels wide. Size, position here, position, and here width, just enter 600 pixels. Okay, here is the pixels. Now, what's next? Borders will do later. Cells, cell spacing 0 pixels and padding 10 pixels. 10 pixels as it is set and anyway this uh, cell spacing is zero only and uh, this all done rest all only this is left okay this three uh, two these two ones okay this two done and also this one is done now this one is left which is uh, external and internal uh, grid lines right so it, it can be applied to TD as well. So table and TD we will take together. Okay, this is done. Uh, apply. Okay, now we got this one. Other one will go for a uh, new style. In that we're going to pick two. So one is the table. Okay, and a comma. I will take TD. Okay, those two. Then... Uh, we have to go for the borders and border style is what? Border style is none. Okay, we are not just taking anything. No borders at all. Okay, apply. Okay. Okay, now this is done. What's next? In the creation paper, this is also done. Both, for both of them, we did it. H1, uh, color red. H2, color red. Oh, okay. See, the colors are same there. Color, uh, colors are same there. See, H1 is red uh, and H2 also red. Uh, but H3 is blue and these two are same. Now, when it comes to the font, Arial, Cal Calibri, if not available, sans serif, 24 left. And here, Arial, Calibri, this all same, right? And Arial, Calibri and sans serif. So, of all these uh, four, of all these four, tags font is same right font is same so let's let's group all this four uh, for the font 
for the font then uh, we have separately with the with the uh, size of the font and also the center align here the, these two are different right so these two are different no but this is same for all you see there uh, this one this one font is same for all here here uh, here and here okay so let's go for all these four tags together and we can finish this at once come over here I'm just taking a new style and what all I have to pick uh, h1 h1 comma h2 comma h3 uh, comma then for the list we call it ally okay now let's see that what is that font uh, font font family uh, we have what all uh, we have first one is Arial okay just open where is that Arial okay this is Arial and from between this you can just change to Calibre okay like this and else sans serif so here what what, what does it mean Arial uh, first of all they prefer Arial if not that is available then uh, no it will select just select Calibre and if nothing is available, then default sans serif will be taken. Okay. Now, anything color uh, for all this color? No, we will, we will do it separately. Only these, these uh, font is same for all the four. Right? Font is same for all the four. Now, just let me uh, say over. Now, what else? Separately, if we go... Uh, for this color h1 and h2 both of them have the same color let me just open new style uh, and here h1 h1 comma h2 okay in this we have uh, the color just see the color color code uh, once again okay here which is the one it's red in color fine this is a red color apply okay this is done and uh, next one we have the color h3 and list both of them same color h3 uh, here is the one uh, new style h3 comma ally for both of them the color you see here it's blue right it's blue apply okay this is also done now what else left in this color is also done uh, here all the colors are done okay here blue is done here red is done now we have separately their sizes h1 got size h2 got size h3 got size and h4 also see uh, you see here justified and justified 14 uh, 14 these two are same you see there uh oh uh, I will just get back this blue color uh, and I will edit that okay now let me just go there uh, which is the one pistol it is h3 right um, yeah this one right click and modify style okay after the color i have um the size font size right font size i got a, a 14 14 is the size pixels and uh, the what else it is alignment Justified text align is a justified okay text align is justified and what else oh justify in both of them it is a justify okay save let's save it 
apply save okay all this done now what's next what's left this is done and this is also done two more uh, separately h1 and h2 center align left align okay I'll, I'll, i will take them separately uh, here new style h1 just go for h1 no not it's, it's not the one h h1 and come here for the font font uh, here the font is uh, how much 36 36 pixels and the alignment is alignment is center text align is a uh, center okay apply okay now we have other one h2 another new style this is h2 then come to the font and font size is how much font size is 24 and uh, here we have the text alignment text alignment is a uh, left aligned look at that left align your text align is left okay apply okay now almost all done yes everything is done now this is all done okay oh fine save the style sheet in your uh, tts web uh, folder uh, as this and followed by your candidate number example like this okay this uh, tts uh, style the style sheet we have to save it along with our uh, our candidate number okay now come over here just here this one right click save oh uh, we have to open file save as tds style it's a star sheet right css and here underscore uh candidate number one two three okay next screenshot of the style sheet in your evidence document uh, so make sure that all the details of the style are readable okay come over here we have to take a, a screenshot of this okay so let's uh, just take a print screen from here to here like this just copy this and go to your evidence uh, here here the evidence too it will be evidence too. Paste there and uh, make sure it is readable. Save and get back here. This two are done. Uh, open TTS homepage uh, HTML file in your editor. Attach the style sheet to your uh, home page okay let me just uh, open this it's already open for me uh, now I'm going to attach this for attaching what have to do oh uh, here towards your right corner attach style sheet and browse uh, open this this is the one we, we just till now we worked on okay yeah this is going to be like this save now what's next create a hyperlink from the text here in this and send an email to uh, this email okay copy this email but in the exam you're going to type in the email address uh, and with the subject line support inquiry okay now where is that here is the one just here select that right click on it go to hyperlink and uh, it's an email right here it's email uh, paste and what is the subject line there is a subject line as well support inquiry copy and come here paste okay now you can see underlining there that's called a hyperlink this all done 
no no this uh, evidence is not done uh, take a copy of html source code uh, of the web page and place it in your evidence document okay of this uh, code just save it and just go to code this whole thing we have to copy control a and control c now come to the evidence document and here evidence 3 right okay Ava evidence 3 and paste there and here uh, in this code you can just highlight few uh, lines the one we uh, we worked on uh, really see this is the line where we attach the style sheet home uh, highlighted and uh, where we added the banner uh, the image we added right that one you can highlight and uh, even of offer also we added highlight uh, then what else we added this bulleted list and all the stuff yes this is all done by us you can highlight that uh, and the emailing um, hyperlink reference as well okay okay done fine now next third evidence is done open the t uh, the ts tts home page html file in a browser okay and also evidence of that screenshot we have to take now let me just uh open that in the browser where is that here save save and here is the browser just i can open directly in into chrome like this okay and let me take the screenshot of it print screen button and from the beginning till the uh, end the whole page you have to take a uh, screenshot and come to the evidence uh, evidence four i give evidence four this is the web page save and print your evidence document okay make sure your center number candidate number all are appearing on your evidence document okay let me just see how was my do uh, evidence document just minimize and check whether my details are uh, appearing on the top yes all my details and this is the uh, three pages of evidence document okay save and you can print this Okay, this is end of your uh, specimen paper, specimen paper 2020 uh, and paper 3. Web page is done. Second part is done. Thank you.